Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thank you very much for watching this video and for subscribing. I highly recommend if you haven't done so to subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be uploading a whole bunch of new videos within the next few weeks and I think you're going to find them real interesting, especially if you're just getting started uh, in running a, a show, a light show, okay? So in this video what I want to talk about is how you can benefit from importing uh, some sequence from, from someone else, you know, there are a whole bunch of sequence out in the network, I mean on internet, some of them are really fancy, really nice and we can learn a lot from some, from some other people. So I want to show you a way of doing it. Um, now this is not an easy thing because everyone has different setups in their networks, they have one controller, two controllers, a whole bunch of elements, you know, so some of them uh, might not apply to you, but I think it's, it's still good to take a look at them because you can learn a lot of things of how they are doing their sequence and the effects they're using. So let's jump into that uh, and uh, let me show you a few things that you can do. So let's say that this is your uh, basic layout that you have. You have uh, two singing uh, elements and one mega tree. So um, let's uh, go into the tool section and click on download sequence. And this is uh, something that uh, XLIS already come with. There's a database you know, of, of a few um, sequence that we can download. Uh, here we have Christmas, we have Halloween, other patriotics, you know, and a whole bunch of, uh, of stuff. So I'm going to open Christmas and I'm going to select the first one, uh, 12 days of Christmas. I'm going to click download and your browser is going to open and on the bottom we should see how it's downloading uh, the file. So it's already finished. I'm going to click and show in folder and um, here I have that file. Uh, 12 days of Christmas. So I'm going to navigate one step up and I'm going to select it and right click on it so we can extract um, all of it because it's compressed right now. It's a zip file. Okay, it's done. So now we have an uncompressed file. So now we can close this. Uh, let me see, just keep in mind, uh, take a note of where is it right now. It's in the download um, folder. So I'm going to uh, close in here, close this one as well, uh, it's being downloaded, close and close, okay. So now you're going to go into your controller section and take a note of this uh, folder. This is your working folder right now, it's called documents demo, here's where you have your layout, okay. So now I'm going to change this to where I downloaded uh, that sequence. So here it is. I'm going to click on it, select folder, and the first thing that I notice is that it changed my controllers. And this is something that we expect because this guy has two controllers, I can tell. So this is the, where the first problem starts. I cannot use this right away because he's already changed some stuff in my network. Uh, I, can, I, will, I can always come back here and replace it, but just keep in mind that this is not going to work just out of the box as it is right now. So let's take a look at the layout. Okay, so he only has a mega tree and a star topper. Okay, uh, and some uh, some poly uh, polyline stars. So he's making some changes in the star the way it looks. Uh, let's go to the sequence, and we have no sequence. Okay, so that means that we need to search for his sequence in the folder that we just downloaded. So I'm going to click on Open Sequence. Uh, we are already sitting in that folder, so I'm going to, my guess is Sequence Development could be in here, 12 Days of Christmas, and here it is, 12 Day Bill. So I'm going to open, and here we go, we got a sequence now. Uh, I'm going to click the plus sign just to see, uh, he has a tree and a star and some polylines and some stuff. So let's let's see what's going on in here. Uh, I'm gonna expand, I'm just gonna expand this view. 
uh, we don't need effects the perspectives we don't need um, so here we have it so let's let's play it give to me a partridge in a pear tree on the second day of Christmas my true love gave to me okay nothing is showing so I'm gonna click on render all this will go through all the setup that we have you can see on the bottom that it's working and it's almost done okay and it's done so let's try it again oh there we go we got we got music and we got just playing now okay I'm gonna uh, move it here there we go. so nice so now we have we have a, a, a sequence playing okay. so um, so the first thing that we need to look at this is that okay you got a, a mega tree so let's go into the layout again so let me click on this layout of the tree and we can tell that he's using 16 16 uh, strings out of made out of 50 lights each so unfortunately this is not the setup that I have on my tree so I'm gonna have to modify this now you can start from here or you can just do it some other way so now I just show you how you can import and see now let's go back to the sequence because this we have some interesting things here uh, we have uh, some pictures that are showing if I play you see how this is showing so let me expand this a little bit to take a closer look at what's going on what he's doing so we got some this is a um, oh let me expand this a little bit so he, here we have so here we have a picture he is using uh, let me uh, a candy canes which is coming from a folder uh, let me click browse and here we have all those images that are going uh, uh, showing in the tree you can do this uh, so here we should have some candy canes that we have a, a swan uh, Rudolph and some other stuff oh here here they are candy canes so he's showing these candy canes uh, right in here and we do that by using um, using where is it this one pictures okay you can just drag it and tell what the picture is and it should show okay so this is something that you can you can look around and see how he's doing stuff and learn a lot of stuff from him right okay but what about if we want to use this sequence in the setup that I have you know that's a different thing to do so let's do one thing uh, let's go back to the controllers and I'm gonna move back to my show I'm gonna click restore to permanent He's telling me do you want to save no I don't want to save it do you want to make changes to set up no I don't want to save those and now I'm back to my layout okay this is my layout this is my controller this is how I have my my tree set up right so I need to now see how can I import that sequence into my setup so let's go into the sequence and now I'm going to do an open and I'm, I'm going to open his sequence, right? So I know that is in the downloads, 12 days of Christmas, sequence development, 12 days of Christmas, and here it is. So I'm going to select it, click open, and now he's with a, you need to be real uh, uh, careful. So first of all, he's looking and it's saying, well, he has a star point um, I don't have a star so I'm gonna delete it I don't have that one or you can map it to something else right so I'm gonna click delete star layers I don't have that on my setup so I'm gonna delete it again polyline star I don't have it the mega tree I do have a tree right and I'm gonna rename this element to my tree this is how my tree is called see so the names are not the same so you need to be careful when you're doing this so I'm gonna select tree and click OK and see it's like that was everything so I'm gonna uh, expand and here we have we have uh, now the sequence before I can run it I'm gonna render it all again 
So it goes through all the setup, and that's what it's doing right now. Uh, it's done. So now let's play it. And there we go. We got a sequence in, in our tree, right, in our setup. So this is a way, uh, this is one of the ways that you can actually import a sequence into your layout. Uh, just be real careful with it because you can really mess up your design that you already have. Uh, you, want my, you might want to save this sequence, uh, obviously with another name, uh, and, I'll, and, and make sure that in your layout, you still have your own settings, right? Because otherwise it's going to be overridden by his settings, and his settings are not the same as yours. Okay, so I hope you like this video. This is just a short video to show you how you can look at someone else's sequences and how you can import a sequence uh, from someone else into your layout. Just make sure you delete stuff that you don't need, otherwise you're going to mess up your layout. So again, I hope you like my video. Please subscribe uh, to my video if you haven't done so and come back to see my channel and look for more uh, different uh, videos that I'm going to be uploading pretty soon. Thank you very much for watching.